Hey there, YouTuber. So in this video, I'm going to unbox this Thermal Take CPU cooler. You can see the uh, model number there, and this is going to have dual 120 millimeter fans, dual towers on it. Weight is 120 grams, and the rated speed 1550. Noise level 25.6 decibels. Airflow 66.14 cubic feet per minute maximum. All right, let's go ahead and get this open. So we have had a lot of CPU coolers come through the doors lately. This is uh, another one as we continue to bring affordable CPU coolers to the channel. And we're going to compare these against each other um, at least I've already started we should say so I get this out so this is probably accessories two fans and these are not ARGB I'm sure I'll get that question from somebody this is actually a really nice box I like the way they've laid this out uh, some of these boxes you know they just throw the crap in there I had wondered if this company was the same as ID Cooling, because the, the logo placement looked real similar, as well as the uh, connectors. Um, but all right, so this looks pretty solid. You know, sometimes though, when you buy CPU coolers like this, you could just buy a fatter. 120 millimeter single tower with a fan and, and just about as good, but we'll see how this is. These are really spaced out, so probably not as much surface area, but maybe easier for air to flow through there, assuming these aren't all bent up. Um, you know, depending on the design is, could create turbulence with the airflow. Instead of getting nice slamming or flow through there. So you can count how many uh, heat pipes we've got. Six. So that should be a little better. There's a sticker on here. You'll want to remove that before installation. And overall, it looks it looks pretty nice. So $35 for this. Let's take a look at uh, one of the fans. So these really do look like the ID cooling fans. Um, just like a different sticker on there. Same number of fan blades. It's a four pin connector. Um, you know, I'm gonna grab one just to see. Old Amazon puts out a lot of the same products with different names, but uh, this is different. Not too different, but uh, the mold for these is different. It definitely looks different from there. So we can end we can end that argument that these are uh, these are one and the same companies because it doesn't look like they are. All right, so nice looking fan blade um, or nice looking fan, I should say, as I try to put this away without destroying it. So we have two of these, like I said, I'll leave this one wrapped up. Let's see what they give you. And I will do a installation video for you all. We'll do a LGA 1700 installation. Maybe one day. I don't know if this is compatible with AM5. Let's see, it doesn't look like it is. Here's your parts list. AM4, Intel 1151, 1200, Intel 1700, wiring, it's on the back, and then different languages, all right? So that's what it's uh, compatible with. Can't read that. So that's going to end up in the garbage. All right, so here's the accessories. Get this open. And since there was no thermal paste on the bottom of the CPU cooler, you would expect there'll be some in here. 
Well, that's a lot of crap in there, huh, folks? So. All right, so we have our CPU cooler brackets, or CPU fan brackets. These look uh, like they've got nice, good hooks in them, so. And here's the cable. So that you can only use, uh, you can connect the four pins on both CPU fans to one. All right, so you only use one spot on your, your motherboard. Then we've got various spacers, AM4, 1700 and then 1151 and they look like they're a combination of different heights different thicknesses a couple different mounting brackets so which one's which and how nice that the mold had it in there so LGA 1700 LGA 1151. If I get motivated, I'll put this on a. Uh, we'll assemble this on two different motherboards. Nice thing of CPU thermal paste here, thermal rate. Uh, you know, of course, the quality of this is probably not that good, but you know, compared to what you get from most companies, like you're lucky if you get this. This is what you got from V True. This is a huge tube. I'm going to keep that out. Sometimes you get something like this, folks, which isn't the best. Then the different mounts here. Okay. So are these labeled? Make life easier, honey. Does not look like it. So you'll have to read the directions. At least say AM4. So it would appear that... This is good for both Intels, all right? And that's going to do it, folks. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.